What's going on creamers today? We got some homemade enchiladas right here. We also have some noodles right here and we have some potatoes right here that I actually made and kind of did some stuff to them, but we'll go and talk about that a little bit later. All right, so these are really hot. They just came out of the oven. Oh man, ooh. Man, there's just, there's no words, absolutely no words to describe how amazing this is. Just mind blowing, you know, Gosh, enchiladas, man. I grew up eating these. They are one of my all-time favorite foods. It was a recipe that was actually passed down from my grandma. So yeah, I have grown up eating these all the time. And they're just like, they're just, I don't even know how to explain it. Just a, just a favorite. I would say like what, I don't know, top five, top three favorites of like my, I guess my all-time favorite, you know, dishes and stuff. going dig into these noodles here and yeah they always uh we we, all, we would always make noodles with them so it kind of adds a balance there it adds a little bit of a balance you know with the spice and stuff not only that but they just go together really amazingly man these are extra cheesy oh don't slide on me Those are really good. So as you guys can see, I got these little potatoes here. I cut them in half. And then what I did is that I put a little bit of olive oil on it, shook it in a bowl. Then I put salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and tahine, tahine seasoning or whatever, mixed it all together. And then after that, I topped it off with Parmesan cheese, just sprinkled, sprinkled a little bit on there, then put it in the oven and Yeah, I did good. <laughs> I'll pat myself on the back with that one. Those are really good. Although I will say, to make it a little bit better, I got some hot sauce right here that I got from like a little local grocery store. So I've already had one of these. It's basically, it's essentially just like a buffalo sauce. It's really liquidy, so I gotta be careful. Do something like that, just to add a little extra extra goodness. Also today's drink, I have this clear American huckleberry right here. I've actually never tried this one before. So this is a sparkling water. So five calories. So yeah, no sugar or anything like that. Really, really good. Since I don't drink, you know, sugary beverages or anything like that anymore. Ooh. Oh man, that's good. Mm, wow. That's really, really good. It just, it tastes like blueberry, like a tart, like natural blueberry. That, that actually tastes, like it tastes very natural. Mm. Yeah, this is essentially just like a, a buffalo sauce. It tastes actually very similar to the buffalo sauce from Domino's. If you guys have had that before, pretty much what that sauce tastes like. I probably should have actually gotten a, uh, a knife for this, but whatever.
Mm. I also forgot to mention uh, there are little diced onions in here too. So growing up, when I would eat these, I never liked onion in mine just because I, <laughs> I don't know why, but growing up, I always hated onion. But as I've entered into my adult years and I've gotten older, I like onion more. I wouldn't say I love it, but I, I you know, I enjoy it. It has to be like eaten with something. It can't, <laughs> I mean, I don't think anyone just eats onion by themselves, but, but yeah, they have to be like, I guess in something like if they're on a hot dog or, you know, I guess a sandwich or whatever, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Oh man, these are so cheesy. I put extra cheese on these. Who doesn't love cheese? I forgot I actually have some refried beans right here. So yeah, we'd always have refried beans with enchiladas. So I got some right here in a little bowl. Actually, it's going to just put it here. Man, that is really, really good. I'm so glad, man, that I gave up soda. I used to be a very uh very avid drinker of soda back in the day like i never used to drink water or anything like that and it's fine because i'd always like think why do i always have a headache you know like why like it, it kind of actually started to concern me i'm like because i would always get these awful headaches and i never knew that it was from i was dehydrated all the time i would just you know when i was a teenager i would just i would just drink just soda all the time. I would never drink water. And it's funny because one day I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stop drinking this soda stuff. I'm just going to give it up. And if I ever do have a soda, it will be diet or whatever. And I just started drinking water mainly. And I'm like, wait a minute, my headaches, they're gone. <laughs> so like... So yeah, the spice in these are pretty mild. The chili that was used uh, isn't too crazy or anything like that. Uh, I think this was, yeah, this was just medium, I believe. And the chili that's used in here is hatch chili, powdered hatch chili. And that's the secret weapon to these. So yeah, my grandma would always use hatch chili when she would make these. So that's just what really makes these like so special, I guess, because hatch chili, it just has a very unique taste to it. It's, I don't know, it's really hard to describe. Like the, the chili, it's not like cayenne pepper or something like that, you know, something that you can get at the store. It's very like, I don't know, I guess a, a good way to describe it would be earthy tasting. I don't know. I, I really usually like, I, I feel like I'm pretty good at like describing stuff, but it's just, it's hard to explain. Man, I really could eat these every single day of my entire life for, for the rest of my life. I mean, seriously, like if I was ever stranded on an island, the only thing that I could eat for the rest of my life, it would be these right here, honestly. I don't know why I'd be stranded on an island, but.
We got these little bits on the side there, crunchy. Like tortilla chips, because these are tortillas, so.
anyway thank you guys for watching this was absolutely amazing man you know just the enchiladas they're just like they're just, they're just they're indescribably good i've loved them ever since i you know grew up eating them and i just i never get tired of them ever they're always just like that go they're, like, they're kind of just like that go-to i guess soul food for me so yeah make sure you guys leave a like comment and subscribe and i will see you all in the next video creamy boy